How to set up a teleport from base to airfield to MHQ. Today I'm going to show you guys how to move from a base to an airfield to an MHQ and back again. So this is going to be our base here. We're going to set this on the contact platform. I'm going to collapse this. We're going to go to NATO Woodland and then to Men and then we're going to place down a Rifleman. This will be our player and then we're going to go to Props and we're going to type in Flag. So what we need first is a flagpole and we're going to place this flagpole right in front of the player and since this is our base we're going to name this flagpole. We're going to name this flagpole Base and hit OK. That's all we have to do for that for now. We're going to go back to NATO which is blue for and then NATO and then cars and then we're going to just choose a hunter and we're going to place this vehicle right about here for now and then we're going to edit the vehicle we're going to give it a variable name and this is going to be MHQ and hit OK that's all we need to do for now then we're going to go back to the flagpole click on the flagpole so you see it, the entities panel it's highlighted and then we're going to press control C which will copy it and we're going to go to the 2D map, scroll out, and we're going to go to the airfield, to this location. Let's just place it right about here. Alright, so our flagpole is placed. Next is we're going to edit the flagpole, and we're going to name it Airfield. And for now, just hit OK. We have our three assets placed. I'm going to save this mission and we're going to place it on Livonia and we're going to name this teleport underscore to base. Alright, so that saves our mission. We're going to go to the scenario tab at the top left here and we're going to go to open scenario folder. Now we're in the scenario folder. This is the name of our mission, teleport to base and this is our mission SQM. Now what I did is I created a notepad document with all the codes and all the information for the scripts that you need. We placed our bases, we placed a flagpole and named it base, we placed a flagpole and named it airfield, and we placed a vehicle and named it MHQ. We're gonna put some codes into the flagpole of the base, the airfield, and the MHQ. So the base flagpole code is going to be these two codes. The airfield flagpole code is going to be this code here. And the MHQ code is going to be this code here. Before we place these codes, let me go over these codes real quick. This code is an add action. An add action basically adds an action to an object or vehicle of your choice that will enable you to call things or perform certain functions and in our case this will bring up a name that you're going to use to basically enable you to move to another location so in this add action we have the function here and then we have our color here and then we have the words that you'll see on the flagpole and then you'll have here is this, the name of the script that we will create. I'll go over that in a minute. This part of the code here is the distance away from the flagpole. So when you basically move to a flagpole, you'll end up at a certain position away from it. And this line is the same thing except it points to the airfield. And then if we scroll down again, the airfield flagpole is the same concept, but this one is move to base. And then we have the same for the MHQ code. Now in this one here, we can move to the base and it's got its own code. Now if we scroll down a little bit, uh, here's the scripts that we need to create for these. But first, let's add these codes. So what you're gonna do for the flagpole code is you're gonna copy both of these codes, highlight them and then press Control C. And then we're gonna go back in the game. Now we're back in the game and we're gonna go to the flagpole for the base you're gonna right click and then go here 
and then we're going to double click the flagpole and in the INIT box you're going to press control V and basically paste the code and hit OK. Next is we're going to go to the MHQ and we're going to go into its INIT box and we're going to go back to the notepad document and grab the codes for this. Back in the notepad document, so you're going to go down to the MHQ code and copy this, press control C and then we're going to go back in game and then in the INIT box you're going to press control V and that'll add the code to this. Just hit OK. Next we're going to go to the flagpole for the airfield. Just click on it and then right click and then go here that'll take you right to the airfield and under the airfield flagpole code you're going to copy this line here and press control C and then we're going to go back in game and in the INIT box you're going to press control V and press OK and now that's all the codes so we're going to save that now before these codes can work we need to create a script for each one of these. So we're going to go back to the base, right? Just click on the flagpole, right click, and then go here. We're going to save this, and then we're going to go back to the my desktop and to the notepad and create three scripts. Now in the notepad doc, we're going to scroll down to where it says scripts. And here, just gave a little note below is the name of the scripts and the codes for those scripts. So the first script we're going to create is airfield sqf so what we need to do is you can just open up a notepad document since i'm already using notepad i'm going to open up a notepad plus plus so we open up a notepad document you're going to grab the code which is this and you're going to press Control c to copy it and then in your new notepad document you're going to basically, I'm going to go down one line, and then you're going to press Control V, and that's your code. Now notice that airfield is the name. In this code, this name here, that's where you're going to teleport to. This is for the airfield, so when you're at your base or MHQ, you want to move to the airfield, then this is where you're going to be moving to, which in our case is the flagpole. So we have the code in the script and what we need to do now is we're going to save it. We're going to go to file and then to save as and then before you give it a name you're going to go down to where it says save as type and click on the box and you're going to scroll up and choose all types. For a notepad, a normal notepad document it should say all files. So we're going to name it all types. You need to do this because if it's a TXT, which you see here, the game is not going to read it. So now in the file name box, you're going to take this name here. You could type it out if you want, but you're going to take that name there, press Control C, and in the file name box, you're going to press Control V. Again, you could type this out. That's it for that. Now what you need to do is we're going to locate our mission folder because you want to put the script in the mission folder. So our mission folder is going to be on Livonia. Here's our base here, teleport to base. Just double click that and missions Livonia teleport to base. Here's our mission SQM and just save it and that will add the script to your mission folder. So let's close that. Then we're going to create a new script. So this will be our new script. I'm going to go one line down. And then the next script we're going to create is the base script. So before we grab the name, we're going to grab the code for it. So the code for it is right here. You're going to highlight and then press Control C. And then we're going to go back to the script. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click on it so that the cursor is flashing. Press Control V and then you paste the code. And as you can see, just like the other script, that's what you named the flagpole at your base. So now we're going to save as and go to the save as type and you're going to scroll up. You're going to go to all types and then in the file name box, we're going to name this base dot 
SQF. Like I said, you could copy it or you could type it in either way. Now, before you save it, you want to locate your mission folder. And now, since we have our mission folder already open and we've already added a script to it, it's going to be already open. So now you just have to just save it. And that's it. So we're going to close this and we need to create one more script and this is going to be for the MHQ. So scroll down. So this is the name of the script MHQ.SQF and this is the code that we're going to put into the script. So you just highlight that, press control C and then we're going to go one line down and then press control V and that'll paste the code. And then same thing, we're going to go to file at the top, save as and we're already in our mission folder so we're going to save as type scroll to the top choose all types or all files if you have a notepad document in the file name box you're going to type in mhq.sqf we don't need to open or locate and open our folder because it's already open and we just hit save and that adds the scripts to the folder so this we can close we can close that and now that we have the scripts in the folder let's go back in game okay now we are at the base let's check out the mission all right so here we have our flagpole and we have our mhq and if you walk up to the flagpole and you scroll your action menu you'll see that it's in a different color now you can change the colors to whatever you want the first one says move to mobile or mhq which again we could change the name of that if you want and then we could also move to the airfield. So let's move to the MHQ. And when that happens, when you move to the MHQ, it'll put you into the, the cargo of the MHQ itself. And you could move to the driver's seat. We could drive somewhere. here we can move to the base and now we're back at the base and let's move to the airfield now so here we are we just moved to the airfield many miles away now if you wanted to change the color of the words or even change the words themselves so let's move back to the base so now we're back at the base. Let's change the color of the words. So let's go back to the editor. We're going to go back to the notepad document and let's go down to the codes for the base, the airfield, and the MHQ. Now let's go over the color. Now as you know, this is the add action and this code here is the color. As you can see here, it says color. It was called a hex code and this is what the wording on the flagpole is so this was set to blue I'm gonna show you guys a website which I linked right here and we'll bring that up right now so when you go to this website it'll take you to this site here what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna look at the RGB to hex color table and this is the colors that you could choose from and what you need to do is this is what you want right here the hex hex number in the notepad document number color is 000 FFF so that is going to be blue let's change it to let's change it to yellow so what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab this here and copy it and then we're gonna go to here and you basically just press control V and that'll change the number and then we'll leave this one alone and the airfield one is 0066 so if we scroll down that should be I don't know what color that is it's not even on the list so we'll change that to uh, cyan and we'll just copy this control C and then we're just gonna go to right here press control V 
and then the MHQ code is the same as that. We're going to make that also cyan, and that's it. So to apply these in game, just copy the code, press Control C, and let's go back in game. And you go to your flagpole, edit the flagpole, and then we're going to go to where it says color. And you're just going to highlight this, press Control V, and then there's two codes like that, and you're going to go to this add action, and press Control V, and press OK, and that adds the color coding for that. Then we're going to go to the airfield, go here, we're going to edit the box here, and we're going to change the code to this, to the same, press Control V, actually this will make it yellow, but, and hit OK, I'm going to go to the MHQ, and we're going to highlight this color, press Control V, and hit OK. So let's save that, and let's test it out. Alright, so you can see already, on the action menu, the colors are now in yellow. If we move to the MHQ, same thing. If we move to the base, back here, and then if we move to the airfield, same thing. So we'll move back to the base. If you wanted to change the wording of what you see on screen, let's edit the flagpole for the base. And you're going to go to this line here. It says move, move to mobile HQ. Let's make that say move to, move to MHQ. So one space MHQ. And then this is the airfield. Move to airfield, that's fine, and I'll press OK. And then if we go to the MHQ, edit that, this one is move to base, and that's it. So if we save that and play. So now you see the change in the words, and that's how you do that. Let's go back to the editor. I'm going to show you guys one more thing. Now here's an alternative, and this is in the notepad document. So instead of naming the flagpole, you'll still use the flagpole to move to the three different locations. We're going to edit the flagpole, and we're going to copy this name. We're going to basically just remove it, hit OK, and then we're going to go to Props, and we're going to type in Helipad, and we're going to go down to where it says Helipad Invisible, and it's going to be an object. So what you're going to do is you can place that over here, double click that and name that base hit OK and then we'll copy this press control C and then we're gonna go to the airfield and we're gonna place this right about here and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna edit the flagpole remove this hit OK then we're gonna edit helipad and we're going to make this say airfield. Hit OK. And then we're going to save it. And then play the scenario. So if we move to the MHQ, you'll move to the MHQ as normal. But if we move to the airfield, it's going to put you on this new helipad that we just placed. If you move to the base, it's going to do the same thing. And you'll notice that how far you are from the flagpole. I will zip the notepad document up and link it in the description of the video so you can download it and use it as a reference. For more tutorials, take a look at this playlist.